found it in a jackpot. This book is amazing. Every recipe is quick and easy. In fact, the book is called Cook It Quick. And what you're going to really enjoy is that for under $16, you've got phenomenal recipes. You've got beautiful color photos in this book as well. You're going to come away with recipes that your family will love and you will love because you're not going to spend hours creating them. Everything is quick, easy, delicious, gorgeous, full color pictures, and great, great favorites from home cooks just like us. Let's invite Marie Louise Ludwig in and get busy because already folks are dialing in for quick. Quick and easy. 800 Hello books again. are gone. Wonderful. Hi, friend. This is a this great one. This is going very quickly. Can we begin yeah. with the stars and stripes in the way of lemon bars? Oh. First of all, I'm in love with anything patriotic. As you know, I'm a big, big fan of decorating patriotic. Mm. I celebrate all of the patriotic holidays, <laughs> but we're patriotic every day of the year. But this is amazing. These are lemon bars. Oh, these are like shortbread and really tangy lemon on the inside. And then you simply decorate them. You give them some powdered sugar snow and then you do a little bit of red on here and some blueberries. Fast and you can buy this easy. gel in the supermarket yeah. uh, in the cake decorating aisle. They have those little tubes of, of decorating gel. Just get some red gel, do stripes, and then do blueberries for the stars. And very simple to do. Under 30 minutes all together. And I'll tell you what, these lemon bars are always the hit of any summer party. They're mm -hmm. really light and refreshing in the summertime. Mm. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> they're not too sweet and they're not too tart. They're perfectly balanced. Wow, these are good. Really good. Yeah. Okay, what's next, my And love? this is all about quick and easy. Well, do you want to go into savory? Because this is my pick of the show right here. This is a meatball sub casserole. Take that piece right out there Wait, in the corner. Meatball, meatball sub, sub casserole. casserole. Well, now what does that mean? Okay, here's what I want you to think. I want you to think about the best garlic bread you've ever had. A big old piece of bread slathered with super ingredients. Wait, are you telling me there's garlic bread in the yeah, base yeah, of yeah. this? You got meatball, you got bread in there, you got everything that goes into a sub, but there's a special slather that goes on that bread first. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Meatballs. The crust of this casserole is garlic bread. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> and then you put in the sauce, the meatballs, and tons of cheese. Yeah, and then you bake it till it's all hot and bubbly, and it is Gotta tremendous. Got to get some of the garlic toast. Tremendous. And some of the meatball. Easy to do. Quick to put together another one under about 30 minutes. Ooh, kids. Who doesn't love garlic bread and tomato sauce and cheese together? It's Everybody. It's like the whole Italian <laughs> meal in a casserole. Happy dance, yeah. happy dance. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would never have thought of the garlic bread in the casserole. Mm -hmm. Put that, that bread so in the casserole clever. so you got your meatball sub on there. Speaking That's of strawberries, how about some cake? Hey, I want to go to the strawberry cake. Super easy to do. And the frosting on here, I got a piece for you. Frosting on here is actually made from scratch. But if you've never made from scratch frosting, do not be afraid of it. And then take that fresh fruit and stir it in. And a little bit of color on the inside. And this is mighty good. Oh my, is there anything more summer than strawberry cake? But so easy to do. Seriously, easy. Isn't that delicious? And there are bits of strawberry in the mm -hmm, frosting. Mm -hmm. So your kids are getting fruit at the same time, which I stop. love. Which I love. Wow, is this good. Yep. Now, how many books are gone, Sean? 2,000 books are now gone. Everybody's jumping in. Let's talk about more savories. Let's talk about mac and cheese yeah, with French fried this onions. This has got on top. French fried onions on it. You have, to, you have to try this here. Really, really simple to do. But who would think of taking those? French fried onions that seem to be hidden and come out around Thanksgiving time. For green bean casserole. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, they they want to be known for more than just green bean casserole. But with the golden cheddar cheese and that creamy sauce that goes on it together, it wow. is a marriage made in heaven. Look at this. Another really simple one to do. Perfect to take to that summer party. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not a big fan of putting onions in mac and cheese because I just think diced onions probably don't belong in there. That's just my, I'm a more of a purist. But I love the crunchy on top. Yeah, nice and crunchy. Kind of takes the place of breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this these are amazing. Mmm, -hmm. mm, that's really good. Mm. <laughs> now down here in front of it, okay. if we can, this is the recipe for that famous corn chip pie. Can I tell you? It has a chili on the top of it. It has cheese and onions, and it's crispy and crunchy all together. And if you want to get creative this summer, give everybody a little bag that those crunchy corn chips come in and serve it in the bag. No, I have some in this little in this you little crock do. to taste. You do. Okay. Mmm. 
I love corn chips. Wait, is that Those bacon? Together. Yeah, it's got lots of stuff in it. Let me tell you, it's like Ooh, loaded potatoes on top of it all together. Mmm, bacon in there. <laughs> Yum. All right, now I need to let you know how many books are gone. Wow, three thousand books are gone. Let's take a look here inside the book. 389 recipes. These are all quick and easy. Look at the gorgeous color photos. We're going to dig into that uh, uh, cherry skillet mm. pie next. Look at this. Gorgeous recipes. And every one of these, Marie, is quick and easy. Quick side uh, dish um, uh, suggestions. Marvelous color. Oh, there's that pie that we just ate, the meat pie. And some really good handy tips in there, too. So it's an incredible read. It's a fun read. Ooh. Well, there it is. Famous corn chip pie. So good. So all these great recipes inside. This book is flying, you guys. Grab this before it's gone. 3,500 are now gone. Is this a skillet cherry this pie? This is a skillet cherry pie. So easy to do. There you go. I'll oh, hold it on here. The pie is room temperature, so we're good there. And it's done in one of our Le Creuset oh. skillets. Is there but anything nicer mm. than fruit pies in the summertime? Putting some ice cream on the top would be so delicious, but there's just, this is a compilation of the best of the best of all of the Gooseberry Patch readers, so you know they've been time tested yes. and approved and loved. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Loving that cherry pie. Boo boo. 4,000 books are gone. <laughs> I'm boo boo now. Boy, boo, -boo. boo boo now. You have, you have risen to the ranks of boo-boo. <laughs> All right, 4,000 books are gone. Very busy, $15 and change. Gorgeous recipes, 389 of them, shipping on July the 15th. Fabulous. Thanks, love. And happy Father's Day to my dad. Absolutely. Jim. I know I'm on one more time, but if I forget, you know, I've got to cover it. Well, now. of course, of course. Love you, Dad. Happy Father's Day to everybody today. <laughs> Thank you so much. That cherry.